Hi guys and welcome to our first assignment. So this is the first assignment for this program. All right, so let me start. So in this tax, you would write an article titled Google Chrome User Guide for Mobile. So one thing I want you to note is that you can change the title, but what you're writing about is a user guide for Google Chrome Mobile. So you can use a suitable title. So now the table of content is introduction, what is Google Chrome, why Google Chrome installation, Google Chrome alternative, how to use it. Then you can now add any other topic you think should be here. Then the last one is the conclusion. So now this article should have the following, arrange the order of the content. So this, the order of this content, if you think it shouldn't be like this, then the better way to do it, fine. Maybe you think introduction should come below why Google Chrome or um, installation should be at the beginning or um, how to use it should be after installation. So you know the order that is very good. So you should do that. Now attention to details. So when you're writing, make sure you observe everything in your punctuation mark. I don't want to try reviewing and see errors. So make sure you check everything, the spelling and even the explanation. So work on information architecture for this. So make sure your content is well organized so we can find anything we want to find. Now it should be over 500 words. Then use that right website as a case study for testing. So what I mean is go to your URL in your mobile when you're explaining and type upright and use that as the example. So no plagiarism, don't copy, make sure everything is clean. And even if you want to copy, make sure you cite where you got it from. Your audience is a novice. So your audience are novice. They don't know how to use Google Chrome. They are first timers. So have that at the back of your mind when doing the assignment. So proper citation for the plagiarism aspect. No grammatical or spelling error. So you need to use two like um, Grammarly or Quibboot or they have other tools out there too that can assist you. So no repetitive or filler words. So don't try to fill some words because you probably want to have more than 500 words. Make sure you don't use filler words. So must have necessary images. So make sure you add the images that are necessary because this guide needs lots of screenshots, but you don't probably need to add some screenshots that are not necessary. So make sure you add the screenshots that are necessary so you don't have so many images that are redundant. Then use the Google Style Guide. So when you're writing, use the Google Style Guide. So this video, like I said, is just like an explanatory video for the assignments. So I'll probably just pick up some areas that might be a little bit confusing, like the upright section. So what I mean is if you want to explain how to uh, type a URL, you're using upright at the exam. For example, you click to open your tab. Now you want to show them this is how you enter a URL, you have to use upright. Or this is how you search on Google Chrome, you have to use upright. So that is the reason for that. So whether that's in the right thing, that might not be too clear. So you can drop your questions in the comment section if you think anything is not clear to that. Thank you.